Tanzania. Should I do the training in English or Uganda? Uganda. 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 Guys, we're going to do some Uganda, but we are going to mix in some English. Kuvanga, some of these things are scientific. There's the na translation in Uganda. Kaka, tuje tu gendo somari lo tu genda kuiga. Sab, tu genda kuiga vizu kura sabuni. Ne tu genda kutegera sabuni chechi. Sai da sine wobo muizu kubo kuiga tu chimara. Watu gaman tu genda kuiga kura sabuni. Tegeza genda kula gasabuni ba mukola batia. Ne wena kula ganti sabuni ba mukola batia. Singo funo vuzi bumba sukula zenti. O funo vuzi bwe buti. O bubono ka o tia. Watu rifena. So ngatanda ni kuiga kura sabuni. It's okay that you should understand what's meant by the term soap itself. Sabuni ye nyini nyini ategeza achi. Chowa chechi. Chitu ita soap. Ngawa wangawa mumu ita muluzungu. Soap wa muluganda sabuni. Scientifically, soap is called a salt of fat acids. Musukuru kuandika. Soap is a salt of fat acids. That is achieved through a chemical process known as saponification. Achieved through a chemical process known as saponification. Process known as saponification. Mm. So meaning today we are going to study about a sort of fat acids which should be achieved through a chemical process known as saponification. This implies that the entire process for manufacturing soap is known as saponification. In general terms, saponification refers to the grouping of a strong alkaline solution. The grouping of a strong alkaline solution. Saponification refers to the grouping of a strong alkaline solution. To the grouping of a strong alkaline solution. A strong alkaline solution. Alkaline solution with fatty acids, with fatty acids to form a salt. The grouping of a strong alkaline solution with fatty acids to form a salt. So here we have two keywords a strong alkaline solution and fatty acids. When you group them together, we form a salt. Remember what I said to defining what is meant by the term a salt. Or what is meant by the term soap. The Tugamba that soap is a salt of fat acid. So when I say that saponification refers to the grouping of a stronger kind of solution with fat acids to form a salt, it means when I get a stronger kind of solution and I group it with fat acids, I will form soap. Because we have already defined the soap, it's same by the results we are targeting to get is already defined a salt. And we know a salt is soap. So now we have to define what's meant by stronger kind of solution and what's meant by the term fat acids. When you are manufacturing a salt, first of all, you have to first identify which type of a salt are we going to manufacture. Because generally, you have two types of salts. Two types of salts. Between that types of salts, what are those types? There's what we call a sodium salt, a sodium salt, and a potassium salt. And the potassium salts. Sodium salts are soaps manufactured using sodium hydroxide as a stronger kind of substance. Sodium salts are soaps manufactured using sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. Or lye. Sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. Caustic soda is an English name. Or it's the general name, or lye. Lye is an English name. Sodium hydroxide, chemical name. Caustic soda, common name. Lye, English name. But it means the same thing. Lye. Uh, lye, L O Y E. L O Y E. So we took a sodium hydroxide. When you use sodium hydroxide to manufacture a salt, that salt will be a sodium salt. That salt will either be solid. Or powdered. Those are the bus soaps, whatever. May be it toilet, be it medicated, or the so-called bathing soap, be it the powdered soap, as long as it is in a bath form or solid form. That soap is manufactured using not liquid. 
it should be a solid or powdered. Yeah, solid or powdered. <laughs>